It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the best way to make your marble chocolate apples. So if you're ready to get started, let's get into the video. Starting off, these are the candy colors that I use to color chocolate. I use Artisan Accent Chocolate Chameleon. And if you don't have those, you can also use Chef Masters, but it has to be a candy color. So let's get started. You're gonna need a silicone mat or some parchment paper. Now I'm using Granny Smith apples, and for the cleaning process, it's simple. I just use this veggie wash spray, rinse, and make sure my apples are dried completely. Now I use an apple stick for the marbling technique. It's going to be on top of the chocolate. For the chocolate, you want to melt your chocolate or candy melts for 30 second intervals until it is completely smooth. And I'm gonna use the pink chocolate chameleon and I'm gonna add four drops to the chocolate. Now, this is not gonna come out pink. It's gonna give more of a reddish orange color. That is because I am mixing and blending one color with another. So when you do your colors, they may not come out the color that you're looking for. So you just wanna swirl it around and then take your apple and dip straight in. Now the whole technique to this is to have a bowl that has some depth to it. As long as it's deep enough and you have more chocolate than usual, you're able to create this technique because the whole idea is to have enough chocolate to dip your apple straight in to be completely covered. Now, the lesser amount of drops you add to your chocolate or candy melt, you'll have a lesser of the marbling effect, all right? So being that this has the little puddle, you just wanna take a spatula and bring that color that's on top to the center. Never take the spatula and go all the way into the bowl because then you'll be mixing the whole, all of the chocolate together and the chocolate that's the second color that's on top is actually your marbling. All right, so here I'm dipping and as you see, that's why it's important to have a bowl that's deeper and then when you constantly dip your apples, you are gonna have lesser chocolate or candy milk. All right, so that's why it's important to have more than enough. Now the question may come up, do I need to add more chocolate, melt more chocolate? My suggestions would be melt some more of your candy melts in another bowl and then apply it to the color. Now it may come out lighter than usual, but you can constantly keep dipping as much as you can as long as your bowl is deep enough and you have enough chocolate or candy melts. Now I'm adding two drops. Now I know a question has been asked, um, do I need to keep adding color? You only need to keep adding color if you want more of the marbling effect to be brighter as you've seen with the first apple. And that's what I'm gonna show you here. And as I'm swirling the apple around, I'm swirling it for a reason to get that coverage full coverage and then I start swirling. You want to start uh, twisting the apple inside of your candy melts and then pull up slowly as you see I'm doing here. Scraping the bottom, set it to the side and again pull that second color to the center because it's on top. It's not all the way in the bottom. Now here I'm showing you um, with more drops. So I added five drops and again, I'm taking my apple stick and doing the swirl. And the more you swirl your that second color is the more of that second color that's going to be coated or showed up onto your apple. And I'm swirling before I pull it out and then shake. And when you shake, the color will shift a little bit on your apple and that's okay because that is giving that marble effect and as you see you got more of that reddish orange tone 
with this particular apple. Now I'm dipping an apple and didn't do the swirl just to show you how that's gonna turn out, all right? So even if you dip straight in, you're gonna get more of that color of that puddle that was just sitting there. So I got more of a reddish orange instead of this swirl effect that you see here, all right? Bottoms clean. And this all determines how you're marbling in the chocolate. So the technique is simple. It's all about how much of the swirl technique you're doing and how you want the marbling to come out to look on your apples as you see here. It almost looked like a peach, right? Yeah. So if you have enjoyed this video and you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to doing more. If so, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video. And for you all that know, it's your girl Robot to Go. And I'll see you all in the next video.